I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! division world champion i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get them two belts take out two divisions if anyone can do it it's me you're blessed that i chose you you're blessed that i chose to whoop your ass next next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title but against whom that's the question he's got 10 wins in a row he's the obvious choice for the next challenge for conor mcgregor versus tony ferguson that's the most relevant conor mcgregor tony ferguson let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see it is a welterweight matchup between rafael dos anjos and kevin lee Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. For the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee, he has so many signature wins already on the resume, not the least of which the recent triumph in a main event in Atlantic City against Edson Barboza. And that has been a huge source of confidence for Kevin Lee that he has the tools to take out this division's consensus best striker. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. Dos Anjos recently moving up to the welterweight division. It was a gruesome weight cut for the Brazilian and one that he didn't want to deal with anymore. But Dos Anjos certainly a threat here at 170 pounds as he makes the welterweight debut today. This guy has world-class throws. Look for his opponent to try to keep as far away from this man's clinch as possible. Because if he gets a hold of you, the results are devastating. for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height but big differences in reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. If you support fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler with a professional record of 17 wins, 5 losses. He stands 
5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Kevin, the Motown Phenom, Lee! And now, because he's opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael Dos Anjos. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Well, Rafael Dos Anjos has bounced around a little bit. Rafael Cordero of all the MMA. He's trained with Freddie Roach in the past. And we'll see if there's an uptick in the power here tonight. Naturally powerful guy. Long-time lightweight in the UFC, former champion. Now as a welterweight, will that power translate up to 170 pounds? We'll find out here in short order. This is a huge hook to the head. Joe, your thoughts on what we'll see in this matchup tonight? One of those powerful weapons from Rafael Dos Anjos are his kicks. Keep an eye out for those. So he's teeing off. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice jab by Lee. Oh! Nice punch there by Lee. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Good defense there. Effective punch there by RDA. Just over three minutes to go round one. Pretty good jab there, Joe. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that kill. The clinch up here. Double upper hooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Went back to the well with that hook to the body. Instead, it's blocked by Dos Anjos. Hook in the clinch there is good by Lee. Goes to the body with the knee. That one hurt. Got a very good Kimura. He's going to lift his opponent's wrist up and towards his back, putting tremendous pressure on that shoulder. He got and it. He got it. Well done. Nicely done. He set it up. It was beautiful technique, and he was forced to tap. Beautiful submission. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here. And the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out.
Well, it's been a career full of shining moments for the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. He produces another one here tonight. And now I think you can start to talk about RDA as a potential two-division champion. Starting to do some of his best work since moving up to 170 pounds. This is a dangerous out for anyone in this welterweight division.